Number 20. During normal beating, the heart creates a maximum 4 millivolt potential across 0.3 meters of a person's chest, creating a 1 hertz electromagnetic wave. Letter A, what is the maximum electric field strength created? All right, so we need uh, a formula that kind of goes back into a couple of the past chapters. We know here that the electric field strength is going to be equal to the potential applied or the voltage divided by the distance over which that potential is applied. All right. You might have seen the formula as V is equal to ED, all right? So instead, I'm plugging an M down there. Maybe I should leave it a D. I'm plugging M in for meters, but uh, uh, someone might reinterpret that as mass, which I wouldn't disagree with. So I think this is a better way. Um, so in any case, uh, we're trying to find the electric field. So the voltage they told us is 4 millivolts. We need that in volts, so that's just simply 4 times 10 to the minus 3. And then the, um, the distance here is going to be 0.3 meters. So they gave that all to us. So voila, all we have to do is just plug that on in. So this is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0.3. And that's going to be now 1.33 times 10 to the minus 2. And uh, volts per meter, those are the units for electric field. Bada bing, bada boom, and finito. Letter B. What is the corresponding maximum magnetic field strength in the, okay, so we need now a formula that relates electric field with magnetic field, and we have one, right, that the electric field divided by the magnetic field is equal to actually the speed of light, huh? Speed of light is a constant, okay? So here, uh, to solve this for the magnetic field, just simply cross multiply these two terms, look at how easy peasy that is, and now we're gonna plug in. So we're gonna take our 1.33 value that we found from the prior step and divide it then by the speed of light, which is memorized, three times 10 to the eight. And then we're gonna take out the quackulator again and plug it on in. So divide that by three times 10 to the eight and bada bing, bada boom, here you go. 4.44 times 10 to the minus 11th. The units are Tesla, okay? Or Tesla, depending upon your pronunciation. So let us see. What is the wavelength of the wave? Now what I'm focused on is wavelength. How is that related to any of the information in this? Pro oh, look at that. Hertz, right? Almost forgot about that. So they're related via the velocity. In other words, the velocity of the electromagnetic wave will be equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. So if I want to find the wavelength, just divide out the frequency from both sides. What's the speed of the wave? Well, it's electromagnetic. So it's the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8. What's the frequency? They told us 1 hertz. Do that divided by one, and what do we get? Three times 10 to the eight meters. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so that takes care of that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do hope this helped. If it did, give us a hand. Like and subscribe.